smaller hole shorter? Is it going to be higher or lower? Higher. Remember in physics class talking about waves? That light outside, beautiful sunlight today, that sunlight is eight and a half minutes old. It takes that long for the sunlight to get from the sun to here. Light travels very fast. You turn a light switch on, that light seems to come on instantly in the room. But the light doesn't come on instantly. It just comes very fast. Those light waves are very fast. You talk about the speed of light. But if you, took, if you talk about the speed of sound, it takes, you see lightning, then you hear thunder. And if that thunder was higher pitched, you'd hear it quicker. And if the, the thunder was real high pitched, you'd hear it practically as fast as the light. You look at this flute, and it doesn't have much room until that, that, that sound wave goes really fast. If you look at this, this eagle bone whistle, Not very much room at all, and it's very, very fast. But if you look at this, it's big and it's long. And that wave is longer. So nature is teaching us the sound waves. And if you throw a rock in a pond, or if you look at the waves in the ocean, or a lake, or, or you see the wind waves, and you see that light waves and stuff, and you get that, when you get that, that, that physics, and you're taking that in college and high school, and you get that, 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 that formula that's got three variables, and you go, who cares? That's stupid. Think of grandpa's flutes, and it'll make sense. That sound wave, the, the start, the end, the high, the, it's all right here. Okay. So we now we've done physics. Now back to the circle. We're all inside that circle. If we look at this fluid, it's got it's got four holes. It's got holes in the tops and the bottoms. Uh, Native Americans have. When we look at the the powwow grounds and we look at the east and the and the west and the north and the south. There's points. And that power grounds is a circle and you're not supposed to walk across that. You're supposed to honor that. If you go into a sweat lodge, you come in a certain way and you walk around that circle. If you go to a sun dance, it's, it's always in a circle. That circle of life has no end and there's no beginning. These young ladies that just came in here. My wife died a year, a year and a half ago. She's right here. There's no end to that circle. Your great, great, great grandchildren are already here. There's no beginning to that circle. So we have these four points, the north, the south, the east, and the west. And there's a good road up and down. That's what brought us to the powwow. That's what takes us to work. That's what makes us good grandmothers and good mothers and good fathers and good, good grandfathers and good, good brothers and good sisters. And there's a line across. Those are the challenges in life. We hear those challenges right now with those sirens. We hope everybody's okay. We hope they can work things out. We hope anybody, no one's hurt too bad. Those challenges. Sometimes it's housework. Sometimes it's homework. So with kids, it's the other team. I love basketball. I always wanted to play against Michael Jordan. I didn't think I could beat him, but that challenge would have made me the best basketball player I could ever be. I never made it because I didn't get to play with Michael Jordan. I could have been somebody. <laughs> But those challenges, so we have a line up and down and a line across, dividing that pie, that circle, in four sections. One section was red. Before Columbus came, one section was red for the Native Americans, but also for the blood of our ancestors, my wife, my mother, my father, your parents, your grandparents, your grand great-grandparents, those people who have died in a sacrifice to give us this life for their blood. One section is white for the Europeans, but also for our great-great-grandchildren, our children, our, 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 our future generations, the hope and the purity of that. One section is yellow for the Asians, but also for that beautiful sunlight that we have today, that sun that gives us all warmth and helps our crops grow, gives us energy, that sun that's supposed to be giving us so much more energy than we're taking from it. We're just wasting that. And one section of that circle is black for the Africans, but for the night, because we all need to rest. We all need to relax. We all need to dream. We all need to sleep. We need our dreams. I dream of some time 
and we take this gentle breeze and we take that sunshine and we make our energy from that instead of taking it from under the ground. That stuff that's in the ground is in the ground because it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be there. It's given, it's given the earth what it needs. All we need is above ground right here, that sun, that wind. So that sacred hoop, that medicine wheel, has all those colors, and that's our family. So you're my sister, you're my sisters. This woman here, she was my sister, her daughter was my, my daughter, her grandsons are my grandsons, my parents are your grandparents, or your, your parents. And that flute represents all that and reminds her of that. So when you listen to flute music, remember, remember these things, that sacred hoop. But also remember, and you're new here, so I'm going to go over something you know, but you never pay attention because my sister never paid attention to me. The heart and soul have been taken from, if you look at a, the, the center part of a wood and the grain is real close, they call it the heart wood. The heart and soul have been taken away from that originally by woodpeckers and, and, and carpenter ants and termites and wood roaches they ate the pulp and the woodpeckers would poke a hole and the wind would blow through the trees and they, so we figured out how to make a flute from them. But if we blow hard, sounds awful. But if we blow soft, soft and warm people want to hear our songs if we keep our voice soft even when we're upset with each other if we're mad at our kids we're mad at our husbands or mad at our parents we keep our voice soft we're mad at our students we keep our voice soft we remember that they're our family and that we love them and when no matter what our disagreement is it's not as important it's not as great as that love that we have my wife, she used to piss me off royally, but my love is greater than that. It took us a long time to find out, to remember that we don't need to raise our voice, and we can work it out. And, and we're different. We're different. But that's okay. My love for you, even though we've never met, is more important and greater than that difference. And as, if, as people in this city, as people in this state, as people in this country, as people in this world would understand that, that those people are different, but they're family. So that difference is okay. We can't change everybody, we can't make everybody like us, but there's more that we have in common, and so if we keep our voice soft, we can find those things that we have in common, instead of raising our voice and dwelling on those things that make us different because that's what we're supposed to do. That's what the woodpecker was teaching us. We're not paying attention. We look at, uh, <clears throat> we look at the, uh, you know, how we used to learn from nature. We learn from the woodpecker. We look at climate change, and we look at the, the, the you know, nature is teaching us. It's, it's not, you know, this climate change is weather, these things that's that's that should be showing us that should be reminding us that this this sun and this breeze that we have is all the energy that we need and we suck stuff out of the ground that's what killed my wife the cancer and the poison in the ground gave my wife cancer my wife died of ovarian cancer and she would probably still be here if we didn't have to, if, if we didn't have to fight so much pollution, and and the the four of us in this tent have, have lost a lot more than just my wife this last year. If we look at, you know, we're not there's we're all. I mean, you you ladies are 39 years old, and I'm in my late late 40s. <laughs> but we our social lives at this point in our lives, our social calendar kind of gets 
sometimes chewed up by memorial services and funerals and wakes. And you look at these people and we go, oh gosh, it's so sad that the person was had so much life and it was taken from them so early. And then we look at science and what we know. And we look at the causes of their death, the cancers, the heart attacks, the, 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 the breathing abnormalities and stuff that if we ate better, if we had better food to eat, if we had better air to breathe, if we had better water to drink, we wouldn't, wouldn't have taken these friends, these loved ones. We could go out and hang out and, and share some company with friends without somebody having to die for us to do this. You know, even the Koch brothers have lost people. You know, so, you know, and they're in that circle. They're my, they're my brothers. I love those guys, even though they piss me off. <laughs> so, the flute, the flute is, is more than just music, but it's music is wonderful. And in this time of the year, the young men would, and, and the young women would play the flute over the fields, thanking the Creator for the harvest. And they play the flutes over the fields and say, and, and, and hopefully that whatever winter brought us, we could handle it and we could learn from it and we would be ready for it. And they play the flutes over the fields in the springtime, asking the Creator for the rain and the gentle breeze and the sunshine to help our crops grow. And we play the flute outside the pretty girls' teepees so the girls would maybe give us a second look. Um, my mother was, she was Mohican and Huron. And when, when I was about six years old, I had an aunt that taught piano lessons. I had to take piano lessons. And I hated it because that was before air conditioning and you could hear all the kids outside playing and I had to practice before I could go play. I loved music, but I struggled with practicing. And then I got to middle school and I saw how cute you girls were. And so I started playing the guitar thinking that, you know, I could maybe impress some girls. But I'm, I'm in my late, 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 late 40s and uh, so um, Neil Young and, and uh, Bob Dylan and John Denver and stuff. So I love folk music because I didn't have to put up with other musicians. I could be just a soloist. And so I was a solo folk musician for a hundred, well, I guess I'm in my late, late, late 40s. So for, for 40 years, I was a folk musician. And then my, my, when my father died, um, that became very important because my father was Irish and English and that folk music has roots back in Ireland and England. And a year later, my mother passed away and she was Native American and I felt like that wasn't fair that I didn't have something for her. And so I found the flute and the first time I, I, I blew into the flute, I heard my mother sing and um, it, it's, it's changed me. And then I started realizing these things that the flute has taught me about keeping my breast soft. And these things that you three ladies coming here today, my mother is introducing me to you. If I didn't play the flute, you wouldn't have given me a second thought. And so my mom is still doing me wonderful things. And how when I play my flute, I could hear my mom sing. And when I learn about that sacred hoop, that medicine wheel, I learned that after my mom died, and I learned it from my mother. And all these things about our Native American culture that I've learned after my mom died, that she is still teaching me. And Barb Velasquez, this young woman walking with a white sweatshirt there, she's 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 in charge of everything here. This is this is her hard, hard work and the fact that I got to meet her, my mom introduced me. And I thank my mom for all those things.